Assalamu alaikum dear friends. I am engineer Sepulla and you are watching Seval Engineer at Side YouTube channel. Dear friends, today I am going to share 13 part of the question and answer for Seval Engineering job. If you are a QC engineer or site engineer, so you have to watch this video from start till the end without skipping any part for the full information. Our first question is before pouring concrete what you will check answer before pouring concrete you need approved survey report what is the meaning of survey report first of all survey has check all the level and location of the structure and it will be done by the, your survey and a proper WIR and approved survey report second you need a approved WIR for the work inspection request for the palm work reinforcement steel work so palm work reinforcement should be checked as per bar bending schedule or approved drawing three all equipment should be checked for the pouring of concrete weather condition also keep in consideration if you are going to plan the to cast concrete for any element so you have to check the weather before planning the concrete and as per weather condition you have to make your management air temperature should be checked slump test and temperature checking at site before uh, casting concrete and arrival of concrete at site delivery note should be checked for the loading time and for the uh, test which uh, perform in the sometime we have to do the test like slump test and check the temperature at batching plant also so for that you have to check the delivery note and you have 90 minutes to cast the concrete 90 minutes will start from the loading time the eight point is concrete cylinder for compressive strain test we have to cast the cylinder at site for the to check the compressive strain test after 14 days and 28 28 days so these are the general uh, points which you have to check before pouring concrete and most interviewer asked this question during the interview also from the site engineer and also from the QC engineer so our second question is which type of material is suitable for subgrade a1 a a1 b and a2 pour material are suitable for the subgrade peeling question number third which type of material is suitable for embankment for embankment we can use a pipe or better than it but the cbr value for the embankment material should be three percent minimum question number four what are the main content of daily progress report a lot of interviewer asked this question from the site engineer during the interview dpr mean daily progress report so the main content of the daily progress report you have to provide detail about the main power present at site daily activities which is going on at site you have to provide detail detail about the equipment using at site and material received at site and also some safety main hours and safety like toolbox meeting but these are the main content that you have to provide in your daily progress report as a site engineer question number five what are the important attachment for work inspection requests so this is an important question if you are going to submit work inspection request as a QC engineer and also if you are a site engineer so you have to submit internal work inspection request so for that you need to attach approved shop drawing for that you need to attach approved shop drawing with the highlighted location and uh, structural details approved MIR MIR mean material inspection request so for if you are going to submit a WIR for the a, any activity lab you are going to uh, submit WIR for the steel enforcement so for that you have to check the material at site before the exe uh, execution so for that you need to submit MIR material inspection request so during the submitting WIR you have to attach approved MIR third number is approved survey report if required like for some activities we need to submit approved survey report 
like to check the location of the steel reinforcement or palm work levels and these things so for that you have to attach the approved survey report like but if you are going to cast the concrete you are going to submit the WIR for casting con concrete so for that no need to attach the approved survey report question number six what are the important attachments for MIR material inspection request before the WIR are starting any activity you have to order the material approved material and when you receive the material you have to arrange the inspection for that with the consultant before the consultant inspection the QC department and also the execution department should check the material to confirm it with the uh, approved uh, documentation so after that when you are going to submit MIR for the material you have to attach approved MAR MAR mean material approval request and material approval request contain all the information about the material and the supplier and also the manufacturer quality test technical data sheet of the material and profile of the company second delivery note delivery note of the material should be attached to the MIR and three th on the third number PO purchased order if required if not required so you will not attach the PO but if required in your project so you have to also attach the PO project uh, purchase order question number seven what is the difference between QA and QC quality assurance and quality control this questions is the most asked questions from the quality engineers in the interview so the answer is this is a very simple answer I have already uploaded a detailed video on this topic but this is a simple answer that you can give to the interviewer QA quality assurance primarily focuses on the process and procedure that improve quality including training documentation monitoring and edits quality assurance they are focusing on the procedures on the documentation on the plan on the trainings on the monitoring and audits they need to assure that the project a project or product will achieve the quality and the QC QC focuses on the product to find defects that remain after development QC primarily focuses on testing and inspections now the QC have will apply all the plan and procedure from the quality assurance at site or on the product they will do the testing and inspection to achieve the quality for the product or project so this is the main difference between quality assurance and quality control question number eight what you will do if you found at site that construction team casted concrete without informing quality team and consultant in last in my latest interview the quality manager asked me this question he asked me that what you will do if you found the construction team casted concrete without informing quality team and consultant answer my answer is simple i will issue internal ncr to the construction team as a qqs engineer and after that the construction team will submit their corrective action for that and the corrective action mainly for the casting concrete they have to perform the testing first non-destructive test if that fails so they have to do the they have to take the uh, core from the casted concrete itself and they will check the compressive strength after 28 days question number nine how you will close the NCR so first my answer was first I will try to find out the root cause of the non-conformity and then I will discuss that with our construction team as per the meeting and instruction from the senior engineer and management I will prepare the corrective actions for the non-conformity and will submit to the consultant for approval the last question is what is the minimum duration to submit your response for NCR the minimum duration for to submit your response or your corrective action for the NCR is from two days to three days mean 48 hours to 72 hours so guys if you have any question related this video you can ask me in the comment section and also you can contact me through my social networks social network links are available in the description and of the video and also in the about section of the channel and here we will continue this series of interview 
question and answer for civil engineer qc and site engineer so subscribe our youtube channel if you are a new viewer and like the video and share it with your friend and here also we will share about the videos about civil engineering qc engineering and life of civil engineer in saudi arabia about jobs and many more about civil engineering in saudi arabia